pretty neat. They've turned a, what would you call this? What do you call this thing? What you brew in? It's like, what, what is it made out of though? It looks like it's... The barrels. Of the, yeah, the, what you build, make the, the beer out of. What do you oh, call those? Just called a kettle. A kettles, a giant kettles. That's pretty clever to make a giant kettle it is. into a fountain. Yeah. I see some goats over there. What in the world is that? Why, bro? Why? Wow, there's the ocean way out there, but this stuff is ugh, disgusting, it's everywhere. It is so stinky and gross. Ugh, it's, the closer you get, the stinkier it is. Oh, this is nasty. Oh, turning back, turning back, that's bad. Repaving this parking lot at Dan Dam State Park. And they blocked off any cars. I wonder if it was damaged in the storm. There's a steamroller. And the pups. This is. <laughs> Why she decided to walk and do this, I don't know. This is an Abbey record. Just keeps going and going. <laughs> this is our campsite for the night. We are in uh, Van Dam State Park. We were trying for a little different spot, but they were shut tight. This is really pretty. We got here at night, so I only got to see a little bit of this. This is very pretty. Creek down here. It may have rained last night. It's kind of steep, so I'm not going to go down there, but that is really pretty. And I can hear the ocean, because the ocean's only a few hundred yards away. It smells like bay leaves 
and redwood trees. In fact, I think this might be a bay, a bay leaf here. It's a little tab that we're in. A little tiny thing. We'll go in there later on t today, once we get to our real campsite. But it's really pretty here. It's raining! Wow, and Elk Grove is like nice and hot. Yep. Well, since it's a rainy morning, Rob, yes. should we play a game? That sounds wonderful. Do you have one that you like to play? We did bring Ticket to Ride. Okay, Ticket to Ride. What's your move, Prue? You know what, what, where you're going to go on the board? You don't have anything placed. Here. You tell me. Just put your paw on here twice for this one. And tap your ear for this one. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> okay. Inside. Oops. <laughs> okay. Picked up the glasses off the floor. This is where I won Rob at all the games. Right, Rob? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> so, the stove and the sink. And a very unhappy puppy because she can't play cards with me. But it's an it's a cozy spot when it's rainy, right? Right, Gil? And out there, the little creek. You're looking adorable. Yes, you're very cute. You're very cute. You're so cute. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yes, there's nobody cuter than you. Nobody. Wow, we just got some deli sandwiches. And we pulled over the side of the road to a perfect spot. You guys stay there. A perfect spot right at the Mendocino headlands. Looking out at the ocean on a rainy day. Ah, oh, this is nice. Hey, hey. Oh, brew. Oh, okay, you had to mark your spot. Hey, 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 hey. Chicken, bacon, cheddar chipotle sandwich. It's hot, right? It's hot oh, and rye bread. And I just got a plain old turkey, turkey. avocado. Boring. And then these crinkle cut truffle sea salts. Yeah, that's a pretty strong flavor. New flavor. I would say, I don't know how you describe it. A lot of garlic. It I'm tastes like sure. garlic truffle fries to it's me. It's pretty strong. I'm not sure if it's for me, but I will have some. And I just realized this porthole really looks like a ship porthole now. That is a pretty neat view. <laughs> you can't find a better lunch spot, I think, right? I it was totally very perfect. Agree. And uh, Rob generously, because I used the um, sad eyes, gave me half of his sandwich because that was better. And mine was just kind of plain. But that's what it is being married, right, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> he just can't look me in the eyes right now because he's thinking, he's like, oh, she took my sandwich. See this 
snail crossing the road, but then you see this snail crossing the road. Look how big it is compared to my hand. That's a banana slug. I know which one probably would win this race. Which one do you think, Rob? He? he? Right, the snail. The snail? Yeah. He's moving now, this guy. Look at that. Look at the speed of lightning. He's kind of blurry. There he goes. Oh, he's so hideous. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, if I can get there. Yeah. Let's see, how can I? There we go. That's big. Yuck. Says he wants pets. I'm not giving him pets. You know what he's... I heard him say he wants to be turned into a milkshake. Oh. <laughs> but maybe we should move him off the road so if a car comes by, he's off the road. I nominate you, Rob. <laughs> no. No. Oh. Oh. Gentle now. He's your mascot. He's your Santa Cruz mascot. Hey, buddy. Sorry, buddy. I think he needs therapy now. You should be ashamed of yourself, Rob. That's terrible. Even the birds, like, that's just low. That was low. Back in the Pomo campground. Where even though that is the Wi-Fi antenna, and we're five, about 100 feet from that antenna, we still have no Wi-Fi or cell coverage. But maybe, maybe tonight, maybe somehow the clouds will part and Starlink will fly over. Yes, yeah, Starlink will fly over and we will get the internet. But, but, the good news is, there is cable. <laughs> so I can get uh, CNN or Cozy TV, all the really good channels. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, here we are, here we are. See, 100 feet, about 100 feet. And, oh, this was a story. Hey, tell the story, Rob. We here, Oreo, we have a dead tent here. Let me just really say this. Easy. This dead Except tent over this here. One. This is the one we could not we tried for three hours to put this shade tent up and we just decided to put it out of its misery after three hours. And we'll do none of the things the instructions say. I think the little metal things it's supposed to pop onto you or all now. And so we went and bought this one even though it's way bigger, twelve by twelve, at the local Ace Hardware store. And we're all set up. We're all set up for our little campfire. Rob, yeah. I just have this weird feeling that someone's looking at me and I can't, I can't put my finger on it. See. Spooky. Taking a walk with the puppies. You can hear the ocean and we're not even that close to the ocean. It's just that we're up on a hill, and maybe it's because it's stormy. You can really hear the the pups, uh, the pups, the, the ocean. It's so quiet. Just taking these two for a little walk, and I'm using the Wi-Fi that's right here because apparently I have to be standing right under this pole to actually. Get a signal for cell or Wi-Fi. Somebody has these pretty lights right here. And all the lights shine up in the redwood trees. That's really neat. We decided not to have a, a campfire. It was just a little too wet and damp outside tonight. We'll do it tomorrow. This is what the campground looks at night. It's very quiet, which is awesome. Come on, guys. 
This is our little, you know what? When it gets humid, it gets a little stuffy inside the RV. So I got the air conditioning running. That's why it sounds like that. I got my solar lights. These, these little bulbs right here are just solar lights. And they're still on, which is good. Why are you trying to bury your food? Just, just eat it. <laughs> Do you want to save it for later? That's weird behavior. You just want to put the blanket in the food, cover it up for later. Oh my gosh, that's weird. Are you ready for your first puppuccino? Go ahead. Hey, bro. Puppuccino. Ooh, it's a hit. It's a hit, it's Rob. A hit. Oh, she's the picky one. You doing it? Wow. These birds charged us ten dollars to take this picture, but I think it was worth it, don't you? I agree. Back in 1837, there used to be an aquarium here in Mendocino, and inside this little area here is where they kept the orcas down in this hole. See, and if you you, what you did is you got attached to this little uh, doohickey here in the ground and they would, with these big uh, links, and they'd shimmy you down here. You had to be pretty tough. And then they'd let you ride the orcas inside this small container. But they, they stopped doing that in like about 1910, right Rob? Stopped doing what? The orca rides. Uh, yeah, yeah a little before World War I they, they stopped that. Yeah, yeah said it was too inhumane. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Right over there, if you zoom in, they used to have a walrus here, and there's one of the walrus tusks. So that was a pretty important place to be if you wanted to ride sea animals. Thank you. 
So what do you think about your trip? It was a good trip. We did pretty much everything. I, uh, Megan found a new brewery and I sampled nine of their 11 offerings. Well, that's all that matters when it comes to camping, you know, tasting beers, right? Pretty much, actually. Wonderful fire. <laughs> you know what? No, but I'm looking through this camera. It looks like you're in the, you're in hell. <laughs> that's what, that's what happens when you're, you're addicted to tasting new beers. You go straight to hell. <laughs> that's not a dog. Yeah, you don't need to be in there. Come on.